all right guys uh, i have already started recording so whatever i'm doing here from now on to the end of the class that will be your homework as well just follow my instruction here i am going to do i'm going to record this script i'm going to do parameterization i'm going to work on checkpoint so everything i'm going to do is being recorded and that will be your homework make everything ready in your computer now the first thing uh the first thing that you today also i saw some of you you are saving your script here and there so follow it here the way i am doing it and i told you that you create a folder called performance testing in your c drive and you save your work over there so you create a folder called performance testing in your c drive in your c drive there should be a folder called performance testing and you save everything here okay now so i'm selecting the protocol and then can you see i already have the folder selected but if it is not this place you go there and you select the right place you select the right place see performance testing you go to your c drive how you go to i'm i'm just showing you how you navigate through your uh, now you come here and what is the folder performance testing so i have this folder where i want to save all of your work so i'm clicking okay and then if you take a look here what is the script name what is the script number tc01 what is the what is the script name new tools users registration right new tools user registration so i'm going to go to my script and i'm going to give a meaningful name this is 01 new tools user regis okay and i'm going to give a version number here now i'm clicking create create now all of you already should have all of you already should have the uh, recording options set up but if it is not set up with you the thing that you will do you will go to record recording options and from there in recording you will be selecting this to radio button here and then you will be coming here actually you will be coming here uh, code generation it's fine and then you'll go to configuration you'll be selecting this web to say param ex yeah. and then in advanced you'll be selecting that generate web page find function for page title but for now i'm keeping this one unchecked for now to show you something okay now click okay now what is the url that you are going to do record so you are going to record on new tools right so what is the url for new tools so new this tools yeah this is the url for new tools now you go there and click on record and you put the, see i have a previously i was doing recording on the other one so it is already there but i am not going to record on this one a couple of you told me okay this is bringing the other side because the url where that one so i'm going to put the url that i am trying to record okay now before i start recording every time you do this before i start recording i am going to close all the browsers and then i am starting <coughs> my recording can you see i have started recording now it is it is opening the application okay now according to my test case 
opening application is done right the yeah. first step yeah. right yeah. so what is the next step is yeah. click yeah. on yeah. register menu so click on register menu before i click on register menu i will have to create a transaction so when i am creating transaction i am giving what is my test case yeah. number yeah. 01 and then what is my transaction number zero. Zero 02 zero. and what is my click yeah. on yeah. register okay. okay so i have opened a transaction i am clicking on register yeah. Yeah, I and then i close that okay. i click on this icon and then i am closing this transaction now i will be inputting the information and submitting it but before i do that i will have to create another transaction here tc again everything is for tc01 and then this transaction number will be 03 now info user input info and submit now see if you put input in input info and submit it will work but if we put a more meaningful input user 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 info and submit that makes more sense. sense now come here first name you can put any first name but i'll put fn1 ln1 ln1 phone number i'll put a data this data are not mandatory but i'll put a data yes. so let's say 205 Six one. No, just I'm putting a yeah. phone number. Okay. Now I put a phone number two zero five. This is my previous workplace number. Do not call on this number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, I'm a nine zero seven. Okay. <laughs> Now you come here. Uh, put a test email address. Test at auto dot com. I'm just putting a uh, test email. Now address. Let me put a. One two three four. Address one. City. Matos. Province. State. G. A. And then postal code. Let me put a postal code here. Now username. Okay, as I said, you will be using your first name and the number as a username because we will be needing this and keep a track um, up to how much you have registered, right? And always use the password L one two three four five. Now I am going to use auto. Okay, auto auto. I am going to start with auto one hundred. Okay, but you will be starting with first name and the number from one up to hundred. Then I am going to put the password. Okay, and then I am going to submit. After my submission is done, can you see? Thank you for registering, right? Yes, sir. And I am going to close that transaction, and I am going to stop recording. Now. my script is being generated you can see that okay can you see it is when it it is done with the recording it is bringing a page here right and we always close it we always close it now let me give you a little bit information about this it is about there are some dynamic value those dynamic value need to be correlated now we didn't discuss correlation yet but this dynamic value we need to do something with it so it is presenting those value to us so if we want to do correlation right so it is coming here because if you go to your recording options if you go to your recording options and if you come here code generation can you see correlation scan yeah. right yeah. correlation scan because of that correlation scan it is giving you that yeah it is it is tagged here that's why it is giving you that option it is bringing the dynamic value whatever you, you found and it is giving you an option 
if you want to correlate it. We didn't do correlation yet. We will do correlation, but for now, just yeah, for now I'll uh, click here. Now take a look one thing. The yeah, for every request, right? Let's say this is our opening application request, right? Here, this is our opening application request. For opening application, I know that we were not able to create a transaction. We will have to do it manually here. LR start transaction. And what, what will be the name of this transaction? TC01 underscore 01 underscore open. New to application or application. Then when you are ending the transaction, you copy it okay yeah, you can right. type it but you will make mistake if if this word is not matching it will throw an error so the best way you do it you copy it you paste it here and now you make it instead of start you make it end and at the end after this you put LR yeah so this this is a syntax that you put now the thing that i want to show you can you see any kind of average find can you see any average find in this script in this recording navet where are you going okay now you cannot see any average find here right so we are not seeing any average find because and one other thing can you see the way it generated the request can you see it is different yeah right yeah. what what it was it was web submit data for in your script it was web submit data and everything was one by one now can you see everything the way it put everything in your script if you take a look this request where we submit the user id and password it was more organized one field by one field so that you understand what is this field but in this one can you understand what is this field yeah it's saying that can you can you can you compare can you compare your request and my request no. my request is you know line by line line by line can you see what is the difference here i want to bring another point here can you uh, can you go to your request where we have input user id and password and submit it can you go there where we have input all the registration information can you go there yeah so what what do you see what is the difference uh, you see here if you every every for every information there is a end data and there is item data. There is item data and for every information, for every information that we input Everything on that field, one by one. it and is I there is a line. Yes. There is a line there. I but line he here, can you see any line? No. no. Only one line. Only one line. <laughs> this script will work too if but to make it co correlated to modify the script, it will be difficult. So we will have to put that script one by one. No, we will have to make that script the other way. How we will make it? Now, if you go to my recording option, everyone follow my screen here. If you go to recording options and if you come to the first line here, now this web submit data and record with the current step or settings look okay first thing i'm not going to tell why you is in a one line or why yeah yeah so it is because of uh, uh, runtime settings i'm trying to see what is that runtime settings okay give me one second protocols web html code generator configuration tools Advanced. Yeah, 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 advanced. Yeah,
this, this third one. The, for this third one, it should not make that much difference. Hold on. Still, it is uh, putting things in a different way, right? So, you didn't do that yourself? No. Really? <coughs> See, th this is script, it generates. Okay. The, the computer, the program itself generates this script. No, I know, but the, the how it's going to generate, we, we actually need the configuration. Yeah, configuration. So you didn't mean to do this way? Yeah, we, we didn't mean to do this way, okay, but okay, it, is, okay. it is, you know, following its own way. I, I have a different version here. So let me s do a little bit more. Now, wh what is the thing? When you are manually inputting the data, when you record it, the username goes to username. Username comes here. Email address. Email address. Yeah, and email goes to the username. But actually, in reality, he was not able to. The question he was asking. He is not able to see the work. No, he is not able to log in by the users. Love it. <coughs> he was not able to log in. No, he said he was able to log in, but he no. couldn't see the page. He, he not able to log <coughs> in. He was not able to log in. So okay. because he was not able to log in, the reason was mismatching of the data. Mismatching I don't know because I do the same way. You did the same <laughs> same thing. <laughs> so he because you copied from him, right? Yeah, yeah, same way. So <laughs> the problem was <coughs> The problem is, when it record, it record it, we need to twist the value, okay? Now, let me, let me tell you one thing here. But when do we need to do that? Because we need ours is going through, right? In, in your case, yeah. it is not going through. Let me show you what you have in your script. Okay. So I need to create a transaction here. Now, now, when I open the application, when I open the application, right, let me open this application, new tools, new tools, actually, so this is my URL, right, now, when I initially, when I open this application, I got this, right? right? I got this. Now, what? By default, it put a checkpoint, welcome Mercury tools. Mm -hmm. But probably it is hard for me to find welcome Mercury tools in this scheme. Right. So I'm going to put my preferred text, registered 
users can sign in. We can use this as our checkpoint. Okay. Okay. So by default, it it put a checkpoint, but I'm not going to keep that checkpoint. I'm going to use my preferred checkpoint. Checkpoint. And this is you are doing for transaction one. Transaction transaction one. one yeah. Remember for transaction one. Yeah. We didn't do that before. We did only the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Now now, now you come here. Uh, if you Okay. Yes. Now, now you come here. Um, now you come here. Can you see that I put a my preferred checkpoint here for transaction one? Yeah. Now let's go to transaction two. Now in transaction two, there is again an average checkpoint, mm -hmm. but I don't want that. So how do you reach transaction two? Click on. Register. Click on register. Right now, when you click on register, you got a meaningful text. What is that meaningful text? To create account. Just keep up to that. Okay. Now. Is it really better how long, how short we take? Keep it simple. No, I know that. But as far as. But sometimes you know this special character. Can you see this comma? This comma in the actual code it will be appearing with some special symbol. That's why I do not want to make it complex. So you keep it like, if you see comma, stop there. No just, time. Yeah, just stop there. Keep it simple. Then you go there. Uh, go to your page instead of. So this is for clicking on register. Mm -hmm. So you come here. You put it up there. Okay. Then this is the second one. second one. Then come to the third one. The third one. When you do the registration, I'm not going to input any other information. I'm just trying to bring that. Yes, one, two, three. One, two, three. Submit. So now, can you see? Thank you for registering. Can you see? I'm not taking that period, right? Because sometimes it will create complications. So my question, let's say, if you want to only thank you for, it still should work. Yeah, should work. Okay, in some case, in our case, uh, you remember we had to register this. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, now you come here. You put it here. Here. Now let me try to execute it to see. So far, up to so far, are we good? Now let me execute it. So in this case, if there is any problem of any transaction, it will show up. Yeah. If any of the transaction is not matching, is not getting the checkpoint, mm -hmm. it will be failing here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a, there is an error. Let me see what is that error. So it seems like my software here is corrupted. I'll have to reinstall it. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes I'm seeing error. All right. So you can see that space are black. Four o four, right? Can you see this? Four o four page not found. Yeah. So, what do you know? What does this mean? Remember when you do when you did bandwidth analysis. Uh, when you did bandwidth analysis, you mark some of the yeah, like four or four. So they are creating issue here. Okay. Now, see here. If you if you take a look this this not found we know there is black and this is spacer when you do manually we saw that this was coming as space not found mm -hmm. so application side they need to take care of it other than that do you have any other error messages here no. no right so that means now let's come to the point here this auto one zero two. That's now by this user, I should be able to log into that application. So, if I try to log in, L one two three four five. I'm able to log in, right? 
Now, what about... How, how did he log in? But that's the question, because in the user name, it was the email address, right? Did you change it? Yeah, yeah. I already changed it. Oh, you changed it. Take a look here. <coughs> Can you see? Email. In the email, I put the user... Yeah, user name. Mm -hmm. How about in user name? In the username, I have the email. Okay, so that's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong, but that, that is how you'll have to put it. In your script, you'll have to put it in that way. How computer is working fine? No, let me see. If you say your computer is working fine, let me see. Look here. So every time, let's say I want to register user 103. So do you mean I'll have to go there in the script every time and I'll have to change it? No, right? No. So, you know, let me execute it. Okay. Now, if you go to your original application, sign off. What is the user I registered just now? Three. Auto three. 103 and what is my password? L12345. Now I am able to log in by that user. But what will happen if I try to log in by Auto 104? No. So it, it is not working, right? Yeah. What I will have to do? I will have to like. I can do two way. I can go to my script and I can change it over there or I can do parameterization. Now how do I do parameterization? Can you see parameters? Right? I'm going to click on parameters. I'm going to create new parameters. I'm going to give it a name P user name for registration. I'm just giving a name. Okay. And then I'm going to, can you see, yes, create yes, table, yes. I'm going to click on it. And can you see here by name, mm -hmm. I'm going to select, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, do I have any value here, can if you no. edit it with notepad, do I have any value here? Mm -hmm. Now, what I'll have to do, I already have registered auto okay. 103. Now, auto 104, you will be doing it by your name, mm -hmm. auto 104 and then auto 105. So, will I be doing it like that? No, I will go to the Excel. You will be going to Excel? Mm -hmm. you, you all know how to go yeah. to Excel and create the user? Yes, sir. Everybody? No, I don't. Okay. I may go to Excel. So, I need to create like from 4 to 100. From 4 to 100. So how will I create? Will I type it in that way? No, I'm not going to type it. I'm going to make it a little bit so faster. Right and just drag, all the way drag all the way down. You know that, right? I know. I know that. Yeah. So we already did it. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm showing you again. So that means you guys need to go through the video. Like I'm recording the class. I'm posting it. No, nobody went through all the so way. What happened, Tamil Bai? Remember, you, the first day you showed everything, mm -hmm. the second day we started everything. Mm -hmm. So, when this, we actually in the second day video that did not complete even the previous video because in the first video you completed this thing. Okay, yeah. That's why we did not go back. Okay, alright. So, uh, if I cover it in the first day, yeah. that means I should not cover it again, right? We are wasting time. Yeah, you should because we did not understand. Okay, alright. <laughs> All right, now now come here. So I have I need to create um, from auto one o four to all the way up to auto hundred. So, O200, can you see O223? Can you see in the screen O223? Yeah. So, I need up to O200, right? Now, you copy it and then go to your notepad. This is your notepad, right? No. You paste it here. And you keep one empty line, not multiple empty line. How many empty line? One. one. 
you save it now by name what is by name p, p. and what is the parameter name p. can you see how i am copying this name right click rename yes, and then copy yes. i'm copying this name and i'm going to go to my script instead of the user here i'm going to put this and i'm going to i'm going to remove this i commented around i don't need it if it make you confused and i don't need it so instead of instead of putting the value instead of putting the value itself i'm putting the name of the file i'm putting the i'm putting the parameter parameter name in a curly bracket. So, and now you put it in a parameter. Yeah. Okay. Now, see in the parameter file. If you go to the parameter file, it is hundred o four. So now, if I execute it, okay. Now, if I execute it, take a look one thing. Now, if I execute it, now, I am executing one time. Again. I'm not exit. I'm not registering all the users. I'm registering only one, one user. You're not doing the whole parameter. No, I'm not registering the whole parameter. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. But after this registration, so auto 104, right? Let me try to see auto 104 if I can log in by auto 104 and then password l one two three four five. You only register one or four at this time? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need all of them. No. 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 Now take a look. I was able to log in, right? Right. Now if I if I do all of the thing, then I should be able to log in by O two one five and password L one two three four five. Can I log in? No. But, uh, but you in the in the script you wrote down only in the curly curly bracket the name of the file. Right? Yeah. Name of the parameter. Parameter. Yeah. So when you use that parameter name, not the parameter number or file, so why that you register only one? Only one because I have executed it one time only. Okay. Okay. Now take a look one thing here, everyone. See here, mm -hmm. I want to go go back to that, but before I go back to that. Can you see from the log which user it has registered? Can you see? Can you see which users it has registered? No. Can you see any trace? Auto in the log it has registered auto 104, right? Yeah. But if you find it auto 104, can it find anything? Yeah. No. Because you will have to do one other thing. If you go to runtime settings, yeah. remember now I am working with runtime settings. Yeah. If you go to runtime settings and then can you see log, you come here. And then can you see uh, extended log? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Select that radio button and can you see parameter substitution? Right. Check that. Now, now, I know auto 104 already registered. Register. Now I want to execute it. Can you see if I execute it one more time, it will be executing it for auto 104 because when you execute it for the first time, it starts from line number one. Take a look here. When you execute it, it starts from line number one. But that auto 104 is already Register. registered. Now, if I want to, I don't want to execute it for auto 104. I want to execute it for auto 105. Right. How will I do that? Can you see first data line? Two. I'll be selecting. Okay. Okay. Right now, if you execute it, you do the second one. Yeah. So the other one we still did not ask. No, it's still, it's still we didn't ask. So I will be asking. It. No, I am still doing manually. Yeah. Now take a look here. If you now, wh which user should be registered now? Fine. Oh. Four is already done. Now we should let's see 
if you search it in the log can you see anything in the log let me see what i have in the log can you see o2105 yeah. can you see parameter whatever parameter is substituted mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. folks take a look here take a look here when i am searching now i am getting the value in the log why now when i am searching i am getting the value in the log why last time did i get it no. now i am getting why yeah. because because i changed the runtime settings i went to log and i have selected extended log and parameter substitution see this is a new thing you have to do it so to view like what data my screen what data it is working with okay if you do not select that you never know what data it is working with right now you know from the log you can see the users it register is auto 105 in this in this script running okay or or all right so auto 105 auto 105 is register right now the other question i do not want to do one by one i want to execute let's say again i don't want to execute it for longer time let's say i want to finish Auto 105 is done. Auto 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. How much? Five. five. I want to finish five. another five. five. Another five. First, take a look. I do not want to register 105 again. No, no, no. I want to start from where? Six. Six. To do that, I will have to go to parameter file, okay. and my first data line will be which one? 106. 106 is in wh what line? Two. 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 Now I am selecting first data line. Two. No, it is already two. But now I will have to select. One of four. One of four is remember first data line. I have selected two. Yeah. So if you select first data line one, then you will see four. four. Now one of four. One of four is yeah. One of four is done. One of five is done. Now I want to do one of six. What is the line number? Three. First data line. I am going to select three. Three to five. Now, did you understand? Yes. I want to start from one o six, and how many, how many data five. I want to register? Five. five. I want to execute it five times. Nine, so go to runtime settings again, okay. and can you see run logic? Mm -hmm. Can you see number of iteration? Yeah. So how many data you want to register? Five. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right? Can now, five. yeah. Now you execute it. So one by one. Going. Yeah. Now you now you see. Look at the screen here. Yeah. Look at the screen here. The way it is doing. Okay. What to one o six is registered. What to one o seven is registered. What to one o eight is registered. What to one o nine is registered. What to ten is registered. So how many time it take? Can you see ending iteration? What is the iteration ended finally? Five. Can you see? So if you search by if you search by ending iteration here right you take a look so first iteration what ending iteration one one second iteration so when ending iteration one what is the data it was registered six six can you see yeah. then when you look for second iteration can you see what was the data it registered one of seven when you will be going for next iteration iteration 3 what is the data it registered 8 8 can you see how it works log in the log you can see everything yeah. right so all you should have gone with now they are going to up to 10, 10 up to or to 10 we should be able to log in let me give a try so you have got to log in and check it out yeah let me check so we will watch it let me do like So you come here. Look, I'm trying to log in by auto 110. Was I able to log in? Yeah, not before, but yes. should be now. now. Should be now, right? Yeah. You can see that it is logging me in. The application is taking longer time because probably you know some other people are using it. Now, now. Uh, Yeah. Plan seven. So why that should be 
other other server uh, this is not this is not in our computer this is actually in the web oh okay okay now take a look i was able to log in right yeah, right now take a look if i try to log in by 111 no, no. i cannot do that right right okay so whatever we discussed do you think i should go any further today Guys, hold on. So I'm going to stop recording here. I'll be sending you this recording. So what you do, you follow this recording. Thank you for joining this class.